So this purpose of this video is to show you process monitor and how to monitor registry changes. So what I have here is a virtual server is here of Active Directory virtual server which controls my DNS. SQL 1 and 2 is a SQL server cluster. Storage server is my uh, what do you call that target, uh, iSCSI target, and then here's my actual web one. So um, process monitor is part of a tool set called um, sysinternals. It's the sysinternals suite. You download the zip and it gives you all of these and process monitor is right there. Right click, open up as run as administrator. Real quick, the toolbars here. Uh, you've got capture or control E, and then you have clear, control X. Um, auto scroll, control A, you have filter, control L, and then uh, highlight. And then this is a kind of a neat feature that allows you to, instead of trying to figure out, you know, what program runs this or that, you can actually point to a, a particular window using this, and I'll show that to you. Um, and event properties, I'm not going to get into any of that. I'm just showing registry activity, and what I want to do is uh, demonstrate, let's see what I got here, task manager, uh, let's close that, let's see, what is it called? It's called Oh, God. Oh, I wish I had a history. Oh, CPL. I was a, it was a CPL, I thought. SysPD? Uh, no. I don't think that's it. That's the history, though. It is... Um, oh, system properties. Okay, let's do that. System properties. Let's see. Let's see. All right. System. Oh, come on. I think it's maybe configuration. Yeah, there. No, that's not it. Chat. Ah, remote. Desktop connection. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's that's it right there. Okay, good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this value here, and then we're going to hit apply. So uh, first things first, we want to set up a filter, and let's remove that other one that I had in there. This filter is going to be called an operation is, and let me think if I can remember this, registry, um, registry change, create key, set info, set value, that's it. So operation is set value, okay, so that's going to be my my filter okay so then what I'm going to do is click that and when I hit apply it'll show up here so I'm gonna go ahead <coughs> it's just monitoring the registry changes the set value so I'm gonna hit it and then apply and then stop it okay now so we want to focus in on these three values here because that's all the RDP values that uh, came out in this reg set value. So um, it might correspond to these three things. I'm not sure. Uh, security layer, um, allow security protocol negotiation. So allow remote assistance. Anyway, um, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uncheck this. Okay. Now we're going to hit record again, hit apply, and then stop. Now we can see what 
value has actually changed. It is the user authentication value right here, allowing connections from network level authentication. So that's the value that changed. And now why would you want to know all this garbly gook, right? Well, let's say you're running a setup and uh, that setup is, is either changing registry values or it's being denied access, stuff like that. That's why you would want to, you know, look at process monitor and find out, you know, what's what process here, what this process is doing. So you could actually, you know, for example, open up the setup. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Did I already close it? Shit. Remote. Okay. No, that's not it. Can't. Remote. Allow remote assistant or allow users. Allow. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this. Now, uh, let's let's clear this, and then let's clear the filter. Remove that. Okay, gone. Now watch this. I'm gonna use. Now see what I did there? I clicked that little little target. And I say, I want to monitor that. Okay, so it says, sure, let's monitor that. And then what looks, it looks like what we did here is it's monitoring PIDs, so program IDs. So program ID 3176, 3176 is Chrome. Oh, that's funny. 3840. Oh, there, that's the only one right there. So I don't want Chrome. 3176, why did it pick Chrome? I don't want Chrome. I want 3840, so that's the systems properties remote.exe. So let's see what happens when we make changes, okay? So that's what we're looking for, registry changes. We hit that, and then we hit that. And then we hit that. So it, if we look at this, we can see something familiar there. So it set that value. Now it's doing, see, it's doing that program ID. So this program ID did all of this other stuff. Look at this. Not Name not found, name not found, desired access read. It's looking for certain class IDs within the... Uh, Wow, 6432 node. Wow, that's interesting. That's 32 bit. So, access, uh, denied access. Name not found, denied access. Class IDs. All right, well, that, uh, now if we go ahead and like we did last time, uh, now, now we're going to uncheck it. I'm going to hit run and then we're going to hit apply and then we're going to hit stop and you can see the value down here data zero versus data one it's been turned off so data zero means turned off so that is one way um, actually there's another thing you can do here and you can just right click on this and let's see jump to that's it alright there's RDP TCP and then I believe it's user authentication. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, now let's clear this. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to capture this. So I'm going to say one, turn it back on. Now I'm going to hit okay. Yeah, it didn't turn it. It didn't do it. Now, now I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to change the filter. I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to say uh, the operation is, of course, this makes logical sense, registry uh, la, 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 set value. So, of course, it's going to monitor that. Yes, I want that. So, anyway, clear all that. 
Now I'm going to hit zero. Okay, did it, did it, no, zero there. Now, 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 run, hit OK, run. Now, look and see what happened here. There it is. I turned it to zero. Yes. Now I'm going to change it back to one. Is it still running? No. Zero. Stop. Yep, see that's the zero again. Anyway, that's just another thing you can do. Um, all right, well, that's all I wanted to show in this video was how to use Process Monitor to monitor registry changes. So we got it back out. Yeah, so that's good. That's backed out. Let's see, double check. No, what I want to do is, uh, okay, that is unchecked. Good. So that's Process Monitor. Uh, I'll have more coming later. I'm just uh, enjoying the process of debugging here.